Uh, Fridays a week ago, which was June the 6th, was the 70th anniversary of the D-Day invasion. Uh, 70 years. There was a member of this organization who spent more than 40 years with this organization, and he passed away a couple of years ago, but Steve Epps, who was a member of the 82nd Airborne Division. He uh, parachuted in behind enemy lines. And uh, he, most of his group that he parachuted in with never made it to the ground. At the same time he did. He was also a little fellow that I, I learned to work with when I was in Woodruff. Uh, he actually flew the C-47s that the 82nd and 101st Airborne Division went in on. So listen, this flag stands for freedom. And we as a group, we talk about a lot of things, but we as a group need to make sure that we teach the importance of what this flag means to our children, to the generations that come along. There's a loss of history and there's a loss of a lot of things in our lives. But there's some basic things that we need to do. And understanding our love for God and our love for country needs to be one of those things that we do. So the girls and I are going to sing a song. Uh, Kent thought I was going to sing the, the Flag Still Stands for Freedom song, right? We're not going to do that. We're going to do another one. We're going to try something with a CD from a computer. That'll be really interesting. Tiffany and Brandon.
Thank you, Brad. Thank you, Bradley. Thank you, Tiffany, for that fitting close the entire meeting. Now we've got some uh, some golf winners to recognize. Now Scott Malcolm. <laughs>